Okay, what's up world? Welcome back. Hey, thanks for watching, man. I want to say welcome back to the channel where you get to see me trying out new dark spirits. So this video is going to be kind of different. This is not, there's not a diss. This is more like a question. So it's been about like three weeks, right? I've been messing around with the, uh, the VSOP, uh, the red barrels, you know, watch the other video that I did. I gave you a whole breakdown on like you know, the history and everything else. Lots of good tidbits in there. So I noticed, though, that, man, I was kind of like listening to this uh, new album that came out. This was, uh, what, Sky Zoo and Pete Rock, Retropolitan. So, you know, I was kind of pouring on this a little bit when I was listening to this album and just throughout the week and stuff. And I kind of noticed that, like, I don't know, I had like a headache or something. So I was thinking to myself, well, you know, Maybe I just drank a lot of it or something. I didn't think I did. I think I might have had like maybe two or three drinks worth of it. You know, maybe about two or three shots. But I've been going back to this consistently at least once or twice a week, you know, um, after work just to see if the same thing happened. And it did. So I don't know what it is in here, but something in here seems to give me a headache which is really sad because, I mean, it's got a really good taste to it. Really nice and flavorful. Got a lot of good taste to it. But for some reason, something in here is just giving me like a headache. And usually I can feel it coming on within like 15 or 20 minutes of drinking it. Not like a pounding headache, but just, yeah, you start feeling it. You start feeling it. So I'm just wondering if anybody else out there has have had, had that same thing. Um, I don't get that with Hennessy. I haven't got that with Cavassier. Only with this one. And it's not the next day. Like I said, it's like within 15 or 20 minutes after that. So I do know there's another one of the reasons why I try to tell people to maybe head more toward like the whiskey side of things and the bourbon side of things is because with the bourbon and the whiskey side, uh, there's a lot more rules about what can be added. I know, for example, for cognac, they're allowed to add something called, uh, I think it's pronounced Boise. It's spelled like Boise, Idaho, B-O-U-S-E. But what it is essentially is a mixture of sweetener, oak chips or something. It's kind of used to uh, give something uh, color or extra flavor, and they're allowed to use that. So I wonder if what's what's messing with me is just the red barrels itself you know maybe just because there's just so much interaction with the wood and it's just part of the spirit or if it's just you know that additive i don't know but anyway because i did make a video where i was talking about this i wanted to at least follow up and just say for me i'm probably gonna have to like you know give this away now i i've, I've had other people try this and it didn't happen to them. So that tells me that maybe, you know, it's just something with me. It could be because I don't drink things that have a lot of additives. I mean, mainly water. <laughs> you know, I don't really drink a lot of soda and stuff like that at all. You know, just, you know, whiskey, water, pretty much it. So I think it could be that my body is just used to not having additives or something in it. But anyway, I just wanted to say, if uh, you get a chance, pick up this bottle because it's a good bottle. Like I said, it's got a lot of good fruity flavors in it. I like it, but I can't honestly recommend it to somebody just because it kind of gave me a headache. But if you get a chance, try it. I don't know. You know, leave me a comment. Let me know if you had that, too. If not, then I know it's just me. So anyway, that's all I got. I just wanted to follow up on the Martell VSOP Red Barrels. Thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Later.